If your child under three is vomiting, what do you give to rehydrate? If your baby's under one years of age, you can give your baby breast milk, formula, or Pedialyte if it's okay with your pediatrician. A trick is you can give your baby liquids, five to 10 ml every few minutes to hydrate slowly. Watch out for your child if they're lethargic, they're wetting less than three wet diapers, their mouth is dry, they're making no tears, or their soft spot feels sunken. New parents, do you have a baby with acid reflux and wondering if you should lay them straight on their back? The answer is yes. Research shows that healthy babies are able to clear their own secretions when they're laying on their back. But before doing so, I would burp your baby every one or two ounces. In addition, keeping them upright 15 to 30 minutes before you lay them down flat on their back. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. <coughs> <coughs> How do you care for your baby or toddler when they have croup? Croup is a viral infection that affects the upper airways, which causes a distinguished cough that sounds like a seal or dog bark. First trick is to stay calm. A calm parent equals a calm baby, and this will help with their breathing. An old-fashioned trick is to sit in a steamy bathroom with your child for 15 minutes, and then to come out and have them breathe cold air in addition, for 15 minutes, croup comes with high fevers. It's okay to give your child Tylenol or if older than six months, ibuprofen. Don't forget to keep your child well hydrated. It helps to sleep with the humidifier and also in a safe, upright position. If you suspect that your child has croup, it would be best practice to contact your pediatrician. Although not that common, croup can get very bad. And so if you see any difficulty with breathing, it would be best to go to your nearest ER or if it's very severe to consider 911. What is the difference between monkeypox and hand, foot, mouth that little kids often get? Well, hand, foot, mouth, as the name suggests, is in the hands, the feet, and the mouth, also in the diaper area. So not every area needs to be affected. Maybe it's just the mouth. And with monkeypox, the blisters are much larger and they can be found in any parts of your body. Both can be passed with respiratory droplets as well as close contact. They both can come with high fever and chills as well the first couple days. Reach out to your trusted healthcare provider if you're unsure of the difference. And thanks for following. The virus new parents should know as it looks very similar to COVID. Roseola causes a high fever for three to five days and then it breaks and then a rash appears in the center that spreads out. It's okay to give your baby Tylenol or if over than six months, Motrin. Can your newborn have pink eye? It would be highly unusual. Typically, it's because of a blocked tear duct. That is, the natural passageway of your newborn's tears is very narrow and it's more difficult for the tears to pass. What can help is use a warm washcloth and massage the inner corner of the eye and then sweep downwards and out. If you do that three times a day, that will really help. Contributing factors is nasal congestion. The reason why is humidifiers, saline, and suctioning can help. If your baby's eyelids are red and swollen or the drainage is constant, please go see your doctor. RSV is here. It causes a common cold in adults and big kids. But watch out if you're under three as it causes respiratory distress too. Don't kiss other babies and keep your hands clean. What are RSV symptoms? One is constant mucus running from their nose and mouth. You might hear a tight, wheezy, constant cough. Watch out for fast belly breathing, tugging at the rib cage and at the throat, and nasal flaring. If in doubt, see a doc. Can your baby get RSV more than once? Unfortunately, yes, your baby can get RSV again multiple times. RSV as a virus doesn't mount a very good immunological response. Although it builds antibodies, they're very weak. And just like all viruses, including COVID, it mutates from season to season, even within the same season. The best thing you can do is not to kiss babies, to keep your hands clean, and to do the impossibles to stay away from sick people. I know that's hard. Follow me for more baby health tips from a board-certified pediatrician.